Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support is very much appreciated. And in this episode we are going to take a look at the Falcon and Winter Soldier flashback Winter Soldier figure. Now this one dropped in stores just before Christmas and I was very eager to pick it up and compare it to the earlier release from the Android Wave. So let's jump straight in. So here he is out of the box and what do we get in the box? Well we get a whole bunch of good stuff as well as obviously the figure we also get an alternate head which is an unmasked head and I think they got the likeness of the character down to a T in this one. Um, obviously we did get an unmasked head in the Mandroid wave but I'll have a look at that a little bit later. As well as the unmasked head we also got a whole bunch of new weapons. So we got these two pistols with uh, various different kind of things poking out of them so clips and silencers etc. Those two are pretty cool. We also got a screen accurate rifle so like the rifle that he was using in the Winter Soldier. As well as that, we also got a knife. Now, the knife is a standard knife, but it's got a really nice finish, really nice metallic finish on it. And that is it. What an awesome collection of bits. So let's take a closer look at the figure. First of all, let's have a look at the masked head. Now, what's really nice about this one is you can see his eyes. So this is obviously at the stage when Captain America or Steve Rogers did knock the mask off and realised that it was Bucky Barnes underneath. Um, I'm just going to pop that back on for a second. Now the articulation is exactly the same as it is in the original figure. There's no change there. They have pretty much used the exact same mould with some slight paint differences. So we'll get into those in a bit. Um, it's a real shame though. It would have been nice if they had made this one pinless. Um, but I'm not going to complain too much because it is a really nice mould. And it was one that a lot of collectors definitely chased after. So let's pull in the older version. So as I said, it was first released in the Winter Soldier wave or better known as the Mandroid wave. So it's the Mandroid builder figure. And that came out quite a while ago and it was the only version of the Winter Soldier as the Winter Soldier that we had up until now. So here he is in all of his glory. Now the masked head that we get with the earlier release obviously still has the goggles on. Um, let me just kind of get him into a similar position as the new release. Um, that'll do, that'll do for now. Um, but as you can see, they are exactly the same mold. It is just different paint apps. Now I think that the paint apps on the newer version are definitely a lot more realistic. However, I didn't really have any complaints about the previous one. The only complaint I had was about the unmasked head. Um, so it was obviously a nice upgrade to get, but the actual paint apps and design of the figure were already really solid. So the selling points for me in this new version were definitely the heads as well as the weapons. But when you actually look at the costumes um, quite close up, as I said, the newer one is definitely an upgrade um, in regards to the costume looking a lot more kind of realistic. But if you look, the arm on the original one actually looks a little bit better. It's got like a black wash on it um, and it just looks a little bit more realistic. Um, but everything else I think is better on the newer one with the exception of the detailing in some of the... Um, accessories here on his arm as you can see you've got like different shades and kind of bullets and stuff that are just highlighted so let's just pull in the unmasked head now this was the unmasked head that we got with the original release and this is the new unmasked head and as you can see there is a huge upgrade in the, obviously the technology that Hasbro are using and the likeness to the uh, the actor and the character I would have liked to have seen the kind of blacked out eyes on the unmasked new head but hey we can't have everything so let me just take this head off so you can have a little bit of a closer look. Now this is a really cool um, head sculpt. This is definitely one that a lot of people chased after and that a lot of people were interested in getting. But you can see here the new hairstyle and the new face shape is definitely an upgrade. But I think that the older version definitely still holds its own. Um, for me, the upgrade definitely came in the form of the new heads and the new weapons. Um, as I said, if you've, if you've not got this figure already, then it's fantastic. If you have got it, then it's probably worth picking up just because of the uh, new weapons and new head sculpts. Let's just put some of his weapons in his hand so you can have a look. Um, I really like the rifle. Um, obviously, the original version, the Winter Soldier um, Mandroid Wave, came with that kind of ridiculous big um, sort of fake comic book looking gun um, and it didn't really work for the character in the film the character in the film obviously had this arsenal to his disposal so it's really nice to actually get that with the figure so let me just put him into a bit of a pose because um, I'm going to do some photographs of this guy that you can check out over on my Instagram um, at Jacobs underscore toys uh, and that's actually I think that's the pose I'm going to use I think um, I think I'm going to use that pose for the photographs so do check out on Instagram and you'll see those photographs but back to the figure review um, 
yeah, overall, it's a really solid figure. If you've not got the Winter Soldier figure already, I suggest picking it up. And if you have already got it, then it's still definitely worth picking up just for those extra accessories. But yeah, I think it's a really nice touch from Hasbro to give us that and a really clever way of giving it back to us as a flashback scene from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. Do check out my other five minute figure reviews. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.